everybody, it's Nancy the She's Got Yarn. It's Thursday morning. I did not finish the tile of the week. Um, I may not finish it. I don't know, we'll see. I was struggling with the corners and the count. And hold on one second. The dogs are trying to knock my iPad over. All right, let's see if they can get through without messing with my iPad now. Anyways, this morning, I'm still organizing. Why is this wobbly? Okay, because it's on a different... No, it's still wobbly. Maybe because it's so high up. Not sure. Anyways, I'm in my laundry room. And this is two units of cubbies all the way to the floor. Okay? That is the only thing that I did not organize um, as far as my yarn, I'm moving these into my yarn room. I'm going to paint them white. So this morning I'm going to, well, it's not going to be too hard. A lot of this stuff is in containers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my room under some shelves right here at the doorway and I'm going to make it my project cubbies. I'm going to try. Okay. Cause I got another shelf to put here to just put yarn. So, and it's a, I think it'll work out fine. I hope I don't have to move my wall mount. I have a wall mount right there. This, oh, I hope I don't have to move it because I use it <laughs> all the time. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start unloading the yarn and I'm gonna put you on time-lapse. I was gonna put you on time lapse, not right now. I wanna talk to you about the yarn I have in here. This is Mandela. Um, I've had this yarn forever. And let me turn on my yarn. The lighting's not the best in here, so I can't see. Tranquil is the color, but um, all of these are my Mandela. put them in, in cubbies just this morning. This is, what is this one? Happy. And then I've got Chai or Chi. I'm not sure which one that is. Here's some more Happy. Happy. This is back when I used to you know, I put all my yarn together that is the same brand. And um, I'm going back to that method. I don't care about the rainbow method. Because I, I want to know what I have. This color is <sighs> Felicity. So, and I didn't tell you the color of this one. Oh, yeah, I did try. Yeah, I did. Okay, this is one of my favorite ones. I always bought one at Walmart when I go to Walmart. Serene. Um, Bag of Day made a beautiful poncho with this yarn. Yes. I have made, I think a blanket. I've made blankets only with this yarn. And then I have this Harmony, but I have some in my yarn room and I'm going to try to put them all together on the shelf. Let's see. This is another color Zen. So, but yeah, I have like Tranquil. All right, I've already showed you all these. And then this is one of the other colors, cool. Like a gray and black. But I love this yarn, it's soft yarn. And I have collected a ton of it. I have more in my yarn room, which I may end up moving the ones in my yarn room with these. Yes, yeah, so I once, when I began, was organized, and then it just got out of control. All right, here's another color. It's called Balance. So, here's 
so we're happy and cool. These are the, like I said, I didn't go through these. These are all kinds of yarn. I've got Marvelous Mary Maxim in the color Jazzy Blue. I have a, I have quite a few of these, but um, yep. Oh, here's some of those yarns to, that go in that giveaway. Tomorrow uh, will be Friday and my give, the winner of my giveaway, she's coming over. And we're going to hang out in my yarn room and just have a fun day together and maybe go to lunch. So, I ought to tell her to pack a sleeping bag and just spend the night and we hang out in my yarn room. Uh, these are all my Karen cakes. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. The, the skinnies. And this is a blueberry pudding. This one I made a beautiful blanket. I held black with it. It turned out gorgeous. It was uh, raspberry ganache. And this is the blueberry pudding. Raspberry? Is it blueberry? Yeah, blueberry pudding. And... That's the same. And then this one is plum pudding. So I haven't used that color. But I bought these. I've had these a couple years. I'm sure you guys realize that. They don't make these anymore, probably. Then again, they might. I don't know. But everything I bought here was on sale. Pop Rock. Isn't that pretty? And you know who um, who is my influence on buying these? Yes. Bag of Day. She loves Karen. Rose Water. I wonder if she still has some of her collection. She's the one that has inspired me to collect yarn. And now she doesn't have a yarn room that we know of. Um, this is birthday cake, and this is rose water. So, they're so pretty, and they're so beautiful when you hold a color with them, they pop. Ooh, I have more of these. I love this color. It is golden fo fusion. It's a number five. Ooh, beautiful. I've got more in in my um, dog room. Here's another color. Sugar Oob. Yeah, they're both the same. Yeah. Here's another color. This birthday cake. I got more birthday cake. So that's one cubby down. I only have two containers. Okay. This yarn I bought from... Oh, here's some more Karen cakes. Here's some more skinny cakes. This one is... Tiram tiramisu. My husband loves tiramisu. You can get it at Publix. If nobody knows what it is. It's it's like I don't know. It's heaven. If you like coffee, you'll love it. It's like like a cheesecake, but it's not cheesecake. It's just absolutely delicious. All right. So I got some more of this tiramisu and another blueberry. People like to watch people mess with yarn and some people don't if you don't <laughs> do not enjoy this I understand if you turn me off but this is ice yarn and it is the summer light lilac but I bought a bunch of colors this one is called 
summer light green. I wish balls came in packages like that and then they don't come undone, you know? But I bought lavender, green, white, pink, and like a, a summer turquoise. This one's real pretty. It's like you can make bathing suits out of this or bathing suit covers. It's a, it's like a number two. It's very thin, but I got every color they had. And then the first ice yarn I ever bought, and this is Magic Light. And I bought Magic Light Glitz, but here's the Magic Light. And here is the Glitz. I bought this a long time ago. I made a poncho for my granddaughter and actually she was wearing it this past week on her birthday. I can't believe it still fits her. Oh my goodness. I'm running out of room, y'all. In my basket. But I will once I get that shelf out of my truck. It's been in my truck for today's day too. <laughs> oh, here's some um, ice yarn. Rosetta, maybe. I think this is the thin one. I didn't realize it was the thin one. Here's some more. Here's Rosetta Worsted, beautiful yarn. And then here's some Magic Glitch, Glitz pink shades. So I haven't seen those in a few. And then I love this color. This reminds me of Mad Mimi. It's Magic Light. And the colorway is DK200 White. That makes no sense, that color name. <laughs> so. All right. I need to find another container. Oh, I got a container, an empty container in here. Even a bigger one. Look at that bad boy. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna move this over because I am gonna steal some of these mandolin cakes out of my yarn room and they'll give me some space, I think. Oh, thank. All right. So next is, I bought a bunch of this. It's the Sunset Nights. It's got glitter in it and it's called Ayers Rock. Well, I hope I get this done before my company tomorrow. <laughs> you know, you tear up things before you can clean it up. So, got another color. And then there's a black and it's trimmed in black. This side looks white, but this side's black and white. This is called Bale. It's beautiful. I'm not going to do great details because I would never get my room done. And then the other color, it's got lavender in it. It's Santorina, Santorini, Santorini. I got a ball band busted. Let me go get some tape. Hang on. Yes, when you're doing your yarn room, major necessity is tape and scissors. That thing was really ripped good. And I want to put one more piece of tape. The ball band is actually damaged. All right, here we go. Here's some more with the lavender in it. The black. Lavender. Uh oh, here is some more mandala. <laughs> oh, y'all. I thought I had this all organized in here. It looks like it all doesn't look like it's organized anymore. Okay. I've got some more sunset, some more of the zen, 
now we got more mandala. And you've seen all the colors I have. I just have more black. So you guys can't see what I'm doing. Yeah. Orange. Party. Yes. I bought some from Walmart every time I went. The hardest color to find that I have the least of is the one that is like pink and gray. This one is Felicity. That one is, is, wasn't easy to find back in the day. It may be now. I don't know. I don't shop for it anymore. My Walmart has this yarn, the Mandela, but that's about, you know, very limited to what they have nowadays. All right, now I can move that out of the way. Okay, now I've got, this is Ice Yarn Baby Wool Glitz. Love this yarn. Um, Tasha Mama, I think, I think I sent her some of this. I may have, I may not have, I can't remember. to do me and her had a discussion I think I sent her some of that I may be wrong here's softly baby in black wonderful ice this is ice yarn I used to buy nothing but ice yarn this is ice yarn but you know watching other youtubers they introduce us to different yarn shops over time because when I first started crocheting I only bought yarn from Walmart I feel for people who just start all right up here is my Christmas bag that I made and I have a sweater that she could be done but I think I'm gonna make her longer you remember this what I made I think I'm gonna make it longer because I have more of the green now. I ran out of color is what happened. And there's a few things in here I need to finish. That's for another day. <laughs> okay. All right, some more. Let's see, this is an ice yarn. I'm not sure where I got this. Maybe Hershner's. It's baby yarn, fairy tale cotton. It's bumpy yarn. But very pretty. I got every color. Um, let's see this color. I'm not breaking into any of these bags. I can't see what color it is. Wait a minute. It's called Dragon. Dragon Red. And this one is. Yeah. Enchanted, yeah, enchanted, like a green screen. And this one is fairy, it's a lavender. And I got white. And I got pink, and I took one out of the package to feel, to see what it felt like. I need to put this back in the package. Eh, I'll get to it. And I purchased this um, yarn art. It was accidental. Tulip. So it's something I could hold with a project. You know, with another yarn. Alright. The rest of this is... This is like a container full of just yarn from Dollar Tree. That I need to go through. I would like to maybe make a project and use up some of that. Here's some more ice yarn. This I think I bought from... Oh gosh, what is her name? Yarn Nut. 
Yes, I got it from her channel. It was on clearance. I got it really cheap. So I bought that color because I love color. And this is full of Joanne's um, recycled yarn. Oh, there's, there's Dollar Tree yarn in here too. What else? There's some, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. So, like I said, I never did go through these. But I would like to make the checkered buffalo bags, project bags. I have a giant um, cake, um, the anniversary cake. It's, I think, something cream and cookies, cookies and cream. I broke it up, started to use it, and then I don't know what happened. <laughs> Squirrel! Distracted. Alright, and then this one, I caked up, I made something with my Serenity. I love this Serenity Premiere, and Jennifer with Cinnamon Stitches has been using this this week for her Premiere week of, what is it, Premiere week, and um, yeah, I caked up what I did not use, because these balls are huge. I love this yarn. I will not waste an inch of this yarn. It is so soft, squishy. It works up fast because it's chunky. And then I have, I have a nightmare in here. I gotta go through, oops. Unfinished projects. Yeah, a bunch of, un this is stuff, it's frog it. Yeah, frog it or finish it. And then I have, go for faux. I um, wanted to see how it would cake up because the ball band was busted. So it's a little soft. <laughs> I can sleep on it. All right. So we are not going through this today. One day. I'm getting, I'm getting organized. I should have showed you my room before I put all that stuff in there, but I'll show you later. This is another box of all kinds of doodads. Oh, we're working into the room, but at least I'm going to be able to get these empty shelves in my room. So last of what's in here is, um, oh no, okay. <laughs> also have white. Okay, these are kits from, this one's from Hershner's. This is stuff that I've been collecting. This one's from Mary Maxim. Ugh. This is from Mary Maxim. Lynette Trump Grammy goes, you need to make that. <laughs> I will. This is another Hershner's. And I got this from the Yarn Nut. She was having like a big sale. And I think there's a pattern that goes with it. It's for a baby blanket. It's a baby yarn kit. I, I, I need to contact her and see if there's a specific pattern for that kit. I know it's a kit. And then here's another kit from her Schnurs. So, oh, and here's one more, Mary Maxim. Oh, that's pretty. So, yeah, I, I like blanket kits, too. And they'll get to them. All right. We're going to turn in here. This is... Right here is where I'm going to put these shelves. So... And this mess here... This was the last of what I did not get rid of. I um, donated a lot of my um, scrap yarn because it was too much money to mail it. So I donated it to my housekeeper who is learning to crochet. She and her mother are crocheting together now. She, her mother moved in with her. And um, yeah, she sends me texts of how she's enjoying it. So I'm glad it's getting used by somebody I love and care about, so. All right, so this is, I'll probably send this home packing with her, home with her. She forgot it. 
Okay. Empty containers. And like project my dog blanket so I, that's the whole purpose of me moving that thing in here so I have a place to put my project I am getting rid of this shelf the wheels are bad on it this thing here right here the wheels are bad on it. Um, what it is is the drawers are, are like heavy. They're so heavy you can't, you can barely push them in and out. Oh, I got to empty these, but this one's broken. I probably could super glue it. I don't know. You never know. I might end up finding a place for it, but I'm going to move that out of the way. the uh, other shelf in here so that's my luck of the draw I haven't watched that video yet because Nan has picked a new color and I'm excited I'm really enjoying the luck of the draw I always have enjoyed it oh, this thing's so heavy and it should should roll easily but it doesn't and the wheels are not locked The wheels are not locked. Man, that thing is so heavy. All righty. Here we go. These shelves are very light. They're not heavy at all. Yay! I got it right there. things hanging from this shelf above. I sometimes wonder if I should put that shelf there. So I got one more shelf to bring in here. Okay, let go vacuum. I'm going to have to get my um, uh, Allen wrench out. What is this one? those caps and tighten that. Hold on. I got to tighten up um, these things with an Allen wrench. But now I got to get these caps off. Don't know how I'm going to do that. Let me go get a steak knife. That might work. Try it. Oh well. Let me 
tighten up this bottom one at least. They're not even turning. I wonder why it's that other one's wobbly. That's not wobbly, but this bothers me. It's wobbly. This is my drill Tiffany bought me. And I love it. It's My son-in-law bought it for me. It's a rigid screw gun. And I can also connect it to my yarn uh, machine. I have the gadgets in there. If I want to make a quick hat or scarf. I don't use it a lot. My Addy. But... It's there if I need it. So my plans for this is for projects. It's like, what do you, where do you store this? <laughs> I guess along the side of the washer and dryer. I don't know right now. Anyways, I um, I vacuumed in here. And I need to swap out rugs. This rug is too wide. It'll be under the shelf. I'll be back. Okay, I gotta swap out rugs or it'll be under the shelf. Hey, Blue Bear! The reason I have so many rugs, um, I've mentioned it a few times, is my three-legged dog can't walk on tile. He's petrified, so I have rugs everywhere. Oh, please don't be too wide. I think it'll be, I think it'll be okay. If not, I'm gonna pull it out of here. All right, now it's time to pull the shelf out of the truck. I know some of you are wondering why Tim's not helping me. My husband broke his shoulder and he never got it fixed because we didn't have health insurance. So I do a lot of this stuff by myself if I can. These shelves are not heavy. Oh, I can pull it up. Tyler was in my spot last night. I'll be right back. Okay. The reason I carry this kind of purse is I got my fob. My fob. Without my fob, I'd lose it. You gonna help me, honey? Uh -huh. You're on video. Oh, God. Rest it on there. Or top of the. Okay. I got it. You got it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, let's go open the door. Maybe not. Okay. I got it. You open the door. Okay. <laughs> How wide is this? I don't know. It'll, it'll work. It'll work. Do we have to tilt it on the edge? I don't think so. Oh, in the doorway? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, some parts fell off moving here, so that's okay. I might have some. I have those things in my drawers she gave me. 
with my pens and rubber bands and stuff. I might have some extra ones in that. Lost some little things to hold the shelves up. The whole purpose of this. <laughs> but we got it in here. Yay! I'm gonna take this purse off. But yeah. I'm bummed we don't have, let me see if I have some extra from another. I save parts to everything. My husband says I'm a hoarder, but it comes in handy sometimes. <sighs> Let's see what I got in here. This is my drill. This light is so, it's so dark in this room, I can't see. Well, anyway, let's see. I wonder if these would fit in it. No, nope, those are too big. Dang. We don't have anything. shelf. There's no telling what those guys did. All right. Whoa. Yay, it just fits. I'll have to take my bracket down. I got shelved to store all that gorgeous yarn. Yep, yep, yep. All right, I'm happy. And I think these look pretty good. What do y'all think? I think that looks okay. I need to get rid of the white stickers. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll have cubbies to, um, put projects in. I can push this back a little bit further because I have a baseboard at the bottom. And I think I might screw an anchor back here into the wall. Maverick's got a ball band. What do you have? Is that yours? Then not yours. Can I have it? Pretty please? But anyways, I wanted to show you guys because I am not gonna be crocheting today. This is my tile of the week. I'm like on round five or six. I may finish it tonight, but I started the corners and I feel like I'm off, but, but anyways, I'm using this yarn and it's a little splitty for tiny stitches. So, but this is the front. It's real bumpy, not bumpy, it's, or is this the front? I'm not sure which side's the front, <laughs> but yeah, I'm using that big twist glam. So I am, <sighs> I gotta put all that yarn back in my yarn room. Let's see how that goes. It's like more containers of yarn. <laughs> all right, so right now I'm gonna put my kits up here. 
nice and neat. This one, this bag, I guess, is too big. Looks like it's missing yarn. All right. All right. Okay, that's all the kits I have. So let's go ahead and start with ice yarns. Or magic yarn. Ooh, I ripped that bag. My husband goes, more shells, that means you're going to buy more yarn. <laughs> oh, maybe. All right. I got more ice in here. Oh, I can't get in here. I have to go through that. One day. All right. Get some more ice. Like I said, I'm not doing the rainbow thing anymore. Hi, honey. I gotta have a. These are flat. Oh, thank you. They go on the channel. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I didn't use them. They they were too small. They were going to fall what? out. I, what I did was I found some under here where there's a shelf missing. Somewhere in your shop, there's a shelf. Um, oh, all right. This is ice yarn. This yarn is beautiful. put this stuff in the shelves in here for right now. I'm going to go through them. This is going to be for projects, but um,
guys, we're in, whoa, we're in my yarn room. I'm tripping over the Christmas bag. This thing, so. But other than that, I've got, I've, I think I'm doing really good. Um, this is Christmas yarn. I have a place for this stuff in my closet. Um, but see what it does? It catches on everything. It just caught on this yarn. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. So what it does is, so you can see, see where it hangs pencils and then you can hang, I don't know what you would hang, tools or scissors from that, I guess. So, and then I, I put yarn in here. I would like to move it to somewhere better, but I need to fix this avalanche right here. Basket. I need to go through got loops and thread yarn in it pretty much cleaned up and I want to fix this there's some Karen yarn up here I want to I want to fix that but yep it's coming together and I've got these bins are full of just yarn I still have a lot of work to be done but this is progress and I'm happy, very happy. So I'm gonna put this over here, but it's awesome. It's giving me a little wiggle room in here so I can start organizing a little bit at a time. When you have yarn everywhere, you, you know, you, you don't have room to do a lot of stuff. I see some more yarn I'm gonna put in my giveaway. Uh, Brianna's is coming tomorrow. I'm excited. Oh, there's more Karen cakes back here. Skinny cakes. Goodness, goodness. This is. I'll put this in the giveaway. I've had it. I'm not crazy about the colors, so. Yep, I'm going to put it in my giveaway. So let's move into the other room. So this is what the shelves look like in my room. That box to the right is empty. The, that I'm down to one bin of scrap yarn. That's equipment. That has some, it's got a bunch of patterns in it. And let's see. This is the only mess I have to wind up. This yarn I have to wind up. And I'm pretty much think I got it under control, but let me show you my closet real quick. So this is the yarn. Some people call it a closet. It was my office at one point. And And then uh, that's a whip basket, UFO basket, and this is my new shelf. All right, here we go into my closet. So this is what I did over the weekend. I've got the Ogo Halo yarn, Christmas yarn, Halloween yarn, my white bobbins, Christmas yarn from Hershner's that was back ordered. I ordered the yarn in the back here behind it with that yarn, but it just came in. I thought I wasn't getting it. That is universal yarn. Universal some yarn B. This is universal yarn, white and cream. Then not sure what that is. I, I'm pretty sure it's pre wait, whoops, sorry. Premier up top is Serenity. No, it's Puzzle Yarn. But I've got I think it's anti-pilling. I don't remember what it is, but that is um Mary Maxim. That little soft yarn that they're getting rid of. Mona Lisa. I've got some Mona Lisa. That's some yarn B. Kirshner's. I can't remember where I got that. 
webs. It's webs. I almost used that for the uh, Sophie's. And all my big monster balls. But yep. And then down here is all Hershner's. And that's Serenity. I've been collecting that over the years. Um, most of this is Hershner's. That's Premier. It's Forever Shiny. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but, yep. Remember I yarn bombed my hair with some of that yarn there. But I've got some yarn up here under the clothes. This is an old kit that I never did. But, yeah. Um, I bought that from oh, Aberdeen. I think there's like 250 mini hanks. I've got more in, in my dog room. But, yeah. Most of this is Hobby Lobby. Um, Joanne's. Um, some of it's Red Heart. Oh, I don't know if it's called Cuddle or Hugs. Red Heart Hugs, I think. Some of that. So, but anyways. But yeah. And then I've got some up here that's more Hershner's. That's Puzzle Yarn. Serenity. Premier Serenity. So, but yep. Yeah. Empty bags. So, this is my corner that I have my Christmas yarn. I got Hershner's in there. And then my bobbins. Those are all my bobbins except at the bottom. That's yarn uh, from Hobby Lobby clearance. I've made a couple blankets holding another yarn with it. It's nice yarn. It's squishy yarn. All right, y'all. That was most of my day. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow.